in Camden Station Eagles. I'm Miss Corson and my co-anchor here is Cal Baby from Miss Goodwin's class. Excellent, Cal. Um, we are going to start today is what day is it? Tuesday, November 14th. Please join us in standing to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll take that for you, buddy. Excellent. Cal, what do you have for us today? Um, a book. It's called Dino Dance. Dino dancing. And did you get to read this book? Yes. <gasps> Excellent. Is it a new book in our school library? Yes, I'm the first one to read it. Cal is the first one to get it. So tell us a little bit about this book without giving away the ending. Um. So in first, all these dinosaurs are invited to a dance oh. contest, and they're trying to win. So all the dinosaurs are dancing a contest trying to win. Show me, if you were a dinosaur and you were to go into a dance contest, what kind of moves would you do? You know, got <laughs> crazy moves? I would infer that dinosaurs probably dance pretty crazily. I bet the T-Rex probably move their arms like this. Because they have really short arms, don't they? I'll show you how it really Oh, they have a visual for us? Yes. Oh, boy, it looks a little crazy. I can't see a T-Rex break dancing. I don't think they'd be able to get up. Oh my, look, he really does! Good prediction, Mr. Cloud. Wow. This has really piqued my interest. Friends, if you like to read books that are kind of crazy and silly, or if you like to read books about dinosaur, you can check out this book in the Camden Station Library. Yes. Excellent. It's probably going to be your fit. Oh, you think it's going to be a good fit book for most about everybody? Yes. Okay, cool. Cal Friends, it. I have three books that are here that were accompanied by pumpkins in the library for our contest that have not been claimed by anyone. So, oh, I know what this is. That went with the pumpkin. So, if you had a pumpkin wearing a Dr. Seuss hat that Cal's wearing, come grab it. Or if you brought this Mercer Mayer book, Just Grandpa and Me. Or if you made The Princess and the Pony. Boy, is that a funny book. The Pony has gas, just so everyone knows. If you have made pumpkins that matched any of those texts, please come see Miss Melissa and grab your book. All right, one more thing we're going to do before we... Do you know what this is? So... Are you going to help me out with this? Yeah. Let's practice our guidelines for success here at Camden. Give me an S! So, for S. Sorry, <laughs> Miss Corson's out of practice. Do it again. Give me an S! Station. I'm going to be out and about looking for friends who are doing just that. All right, we have a couple of birthdays. Let's take a look and see if Miss Corson can figure this out. Oh, just one today. Our friend Xavier Ludwig, it is his birthday in Miss McBullen's class. Happy birthday to Xavier. Do you know Xavier? No He's a big man. Pardon? No, we have one coming up right before Thanksgiving. Oh, are you doing your dino dance moves? Oh boy, good luck, Miss Goodwin. All right, come on back, sit down. All right, ready? You're gonna do your sign off? Say, we'll see you out and about. Bye bye, Classy Camden. All right, stay classy, Camden. <laughs>